looking at the tournament as a whole for Ireland and from the perspective of Andy Farrell, the perspective of his, of his coaching, take it. Like, what is it most important that Ireland develop here over the next five games? Obviously, you think an out half <laughs> to begin with. You want to see their line out improve, but what would be the priority to your mind going into this tournament? Um, I think there was little doubts about our defence. Um, that probably going into the World Cup, we didn't see um, as an area of weakness, but against New Zealand, uh, and I know that look, New Zealand are obviously a brilliant attacking side, but you know to concede, I think we see two tries from four man lineouts um, in 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 key games uh, from deep, you know, which uh, which is very unusual. Uh, the first phase getting cut open there, um, obviously that chip space that New Zealand found, um, uh, that's that's one area of defense. I think. Obviously, um, line out was poor. Scrum against New Zealand was an Achilles heel, even though it was a very small number of scrums. Um, that was probably the, the key area of the game, which stopped us getting back into it, um, getting penalised there. I don't think our scrum is strong. Uh, at, 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 in terms of the top two or three teams in the world, I don't think we're anywhere near there and probably lack a little bit of depth there as well. Um, so that's obviously a, a concern. And then how how is our attack going to be without Johnny Sexton? Like that's so I don't think we can say our attack is bang bang on. I don't, I think our attack for the last three years has evolved massively, and everybody should know how we want to play and the skill set and the fitness and the understanding um, should all be there. But until we do that without Johnny Sexton, um, I think we have to say it's not proven, um, and that's not like I, I love Jack Crowley and. Uh, I think he's he, he's going to be an incredible player for Ireland. So it's not a slight or qu- doubt about him, but um, I, I do think that Sexton made that attack tick, not just in every time he touched the ball, but in terms of his ability to understand where we needed to go, communicate that, etc. So that's that's something that Farrell, with obviously Cat moving on this summer, it'd be interesting if. Farrell, I, I, my understanding is the Farrell was quite hands on on our attack anyway, um, uh, so it's a real challenge for him to to keep that going or to keep evolving that without his his main lieutenant. It felt as though uh, Sexton moved into his mid to late thirties. Ireland decentralised their attack a little bit just to take some of the weight off of his shoulders and honestly to make the team more sustainable in the event that Sexton wouldn't be there. Do you think the answer is to further decentralise it this time around? You've got a, a 24-year-old coming in at out half who has three minutes of Six Nations rugby under his belt. And actually, Jack Rowley spoke to us uh, on a press conference last week. And it was kind of striking how green he was. He spoke really well, don't get me wrong. But he was making the point that like there's no point in comparing him to Johnny Sexton or Ronan O'Gara because he just doesn't have the body of work. Mm. Like He was quite humble, but equally probably like not... In, like enormously comfortable in fielding questions from media like that's how green he is and you're putting him into this situation at the Stad Velodrome which is going to be beyond anything he's ever experienced on the field at least before like do Ireland need to take even more weight off of his shoulders for this championship or do you just throw him in to the melting pot uh, light a fire under him and let him go yeah I think you have to let him go uh, um, I think it's very hard to protect or to nurse a um, a ten into Ireland, France, and in, 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 in a probably a Six Nations decider away from home. So, I think our, our attack did evolve. It was it was the de- word decentralized, but I think you have to understand that, that that Johnny understood how to make that happen as well. You know what I mean? Um, so where he needs to be to to best attract defenders, and that's the challenge then to do that because when you watch when you watch Munster play. Um, they're more traditional. They're very like Ireland's attack in lots of ways, but then they're more traditional in terms of of the tens touches uh, and etc. So, um, whether that's whether that's something that Sexton organised himself more uh, just through his ability to communicate and, and be dominant, um, we, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I, I have no fear. Like I, I don't expect Jack Crowley to be. Johnny Sexton or Ron Nagara's or Owen Farrell's or Dan Bigger's level, yes. You know what I mean? They, that's as you said, body of work that will that will come. Um and and everything we've seen about him 
and I know some people were were, were criticizing him for the collapse against Northampton uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, I, I I don't I didn't think that it was all down to him in any in any way. And it won't be all down to him if Ireland don't beat uh, beat France. But I think we've seen enough in him. And to be honest, it's not even seen it. It's what the likes of Farrell and, and the likes of Roundtree and, and the likes of Sexton and um, the likes of Gibson Park, etc., would say about him from the first day he came into camp is that he has the temperament um, uh, and the ability to to be an international 10 and a very good one. So um, it's just a case of how quickly he can get that, that level of, I suppose, calmness at international level. But when you look around, when you look at the rest in Ireland, like we kind of need him to we need we need him to come true because he's the most likely replacement, isn't he? Um I know the other the next four are all Leinster and Ross is injured. Um but yeah, it's uh the reality is those four may end up splitting their game time um maybe too much, too much for all of them to to really show they can go toe to toe with with Jack Crowley, um who is obviously clearly number one in, in Munster. 